Welcome to the podcast, Views from the Seven. You already know I'm here with my friend John Bentley. We're about to do a funny questionnaire and question and answer. Um, so you about to get to know us a little bit. So here we go. All right. The first question is cereal soup. Um, no, nah, cereal is not soup unless you okay. have. I found this on the phone. <laughs> the heck, dude. <laughs> cereal on the joint. Go ahead, keep going. All right, so I don't think. Other than what Siri is about to say, uh, cereal is not soup. I mean, you know, after a while, you let your soup have that too much milk in it and you let it sit for a little while, it turns into soup, you know, <laughs> but uh, I don't think cereal is soup. That's so nasty when it get left in there, though. Yeah. I ain't going to fake it. It's all mushy and gushy. Yeah. And, yeah. Might as well throw that throw yep. it away. You got to eat cereal. And, well, I mean, if you don't have a lot of food, you might want to save that food, you know. That's true. All right. For girls, what's the sexiest and least sexy name for a girl? Um, I don't even know. I can't even lie to you. I don't even know. I don't. I can't even think. I think Janelle Monae is a beautiful <laughs> name. This no doubt. Because I think no doubt. Janelle Monae is amazing looking. Um, I like the way she dresses. So that's probably yeah. Um, a, a non sexy name is probably uh, a name that I can't pronounce because then. I'm thinking about giving you a nickname, so uh, yeah. All right, cool, cool. I would have to say Janae, just because Janae Aiko. I'm in oh, love yeah. with her, so. I thought it was Janae Just Aiko. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it's a name I can't pronounce. Yeah, so. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, what secret conspiracy would you like to start? Um. Oh, here we go. Probably the Illuminati. Cause uh, no, it already exists. You gotta start something else. Oh, uh, conspiracy. Did you just make up a word? <laughs> no, I said conspiracy. Uh, I don't really know any conspiracies right now that I can talk about. Um, so I might have to skip that question. I know some know some that I would talk about that are already out there, but I don't want to get my videos taken down. I think down, so. my conspiracy is that these masks just funnel in the same virus through us to kill us. But we ain't going to put that in the title, so ain't nobody going to know. All so, right, cool. On to the next one. Uh, what's visible but you wish people could see? What's invisible that you wish people can see? <laughs> hey, I went to a public school. Don't judge me. I can, uh, I can, I can barely read. Um... <laughs> Uh, I wish God was visible so I could see him every day, you know. Ooh, that's a hot topic. Somebody somebody in the comment section might get mad about that. Yeah, well, that I, can, right there. I believe in God. So, you know, I, if he, I wish he was, he wasn't invisible. I wish he wasn't, I mean, you know, able. I wish I could look upon God, you know, to know everything he's doing for me. Yeah, I mean, that that, uh, that mask conspiracy theory didn't uh, seem too uh, bad until you said, I wish I could see God. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you think I, you think people are gonna be mad about the mask thing? They well, be mad hey, about the guy one. In the comment section, if you do not agree or if you have any comments, please keep it clean. Um, we are a clean channel, and we also take you know comments down below. And if you know you hear this podcast and you want us to talk about it, all right, this this is a good up. one right here. What's the weirdest smell you never smelled? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be that's a good one because there's some weird smells out there. Um, I mean, I've smelled a lot of things, so probably, uh, <laughs> you know, the weirdest thing that probably grosses me out since I'm early child development, I work with kids, is uh, changing diapers. I mean, that's I think that's one of the weirdest things. I know when you're a child, you get your diaper changed. I know that uh, my parents used to talk about how I walked around with, you know, diarrhea that's, that's, in my uh, diapers. Yeah. So that was probably one of the weirdest things being a grown man. You know, changing diapers. I have to say, the weirdest thing I've ever smelled is hot mustard. I went to this Thai restaurant, and uh, hot mustard, it don't even, like, I can't remember what the smell was, but when you taste it, it tastes like paint smell, if that makes sense. You feel me? Like, you ever tasted something? smell. No, you, you ain't never smell paint, like how paint smell? Sometimes, it depends. The hot mustard tastes like what uh, paint uh, smell like, and I've that was the worst thing before. ever. I was done. So never try hot mustard. Yeah, don't gross. try hot mustard if you don't want your breath to be smelling like paint. All right. <clears throat> What's the best Wi-Fi name you've ever seen? <laughs> I can't even think of the name, but it was very clever. Um, 
I know somebody said, go ahead and try my Wi-Fi, but you won't be able to get on it. Oh, damn. Yeah, so that yeah. was pretty clutch That's because pretty cool. they are tempting you to try it, especially if you don't have Wi-Fi at your crib. Um, yeah, you got you to gotta steal Wi-Fi sometimes. You know, you, gotta, you, know? you know, you have to borrow Wi-Fi, but uh, as you know, even though you clicked on it, there was a password. So Yeah. I think the funniest one is here. Some uh, some guy who lived next to me, his uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi thing. Keep it. We just gonna cut that part. All yeah. right, on to the next one. Like that never happened. Yeah. Um. Hold on, I got you. What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? Taking a selfie. That looks ridiculous. Yes. That look crazy as heck. Yes. Especially like, or you know, mine is like. I remember one time I was sitting in my apartment building and I was looking out the window and I'm looking at this person sitting in their car trying to take a picture and I'm yeah. just like, yeah, that look wild like, as heck. You know how many times you're gonna take the picture? Yeah, cause you just you just got it in front of you. You look yes. crazy. And one thing mine is is like when I'm walking through the mall nowadays, and I know this is a young person's thing. So if you're young and you listen to this podcast, don't be offended. I'm you know, I'm in the old age, but I'm walking and I'm seeing people put their phone down and they're randomly dancing. Before I knew what TikTok was, I didn't. You know, I was looking like, what the heck are these kids doing? Like I understand it's a positive thing, so keep doing it. But at first, I'm like. What are you doing? You know? Yeah. Like, right. what are you doing? Yeah. All right. So, this one I think is good, which again, it won't be in the title. So, it's all good. Nobody will know until they watch this. But uh, in 40 years, what will people be nostalgic for? And I think it is going outside and enjoying like crowds of people, like festivals and all that stuff. Yeah. People are going to be like, I remember back in the day, you could go outside and meet with hundreds of people and yeah. it'd be fine. You'd not die. Yeah. That's one thing. I mean, that is one thing. You know, we are in 2020 right now and. We're dealing with something, but once you look back, you be like, "Man, I couldn't even go outside without a mask." Like it was crazy, you know. So yeah, that's gonna be a memory. You know, forty years from now, I'll be seventy some years old. So uh, hopefully, I can still remember that. So, all right, this is one of my pet peeves, which I kind of gave into recently. But how do you feel about pineapple on pizza? Oh, I love pineapple pizza. Well, you know, yeah. I was talking to my friend the other day, and I was like, "Hey." Um, what type of pizza you like? She was like, um, sausage. I was like, oh, do you like pineapples sausage. and sausage? Yeah. I love pineapples and sausage. Like, you can ask yeah. ask my dad. I'm always getting pineapples on my sausage. I like sausage pizza as long as it's not Italian sausage. Oh, I like Italian, Italian sausage. sausage can't do it. Sausage. It's the spice in there. I can't do yeah. it. Like the smell of them make me want to throw up. Shoot. But I used to hate pineapple pizza, and then I think a few days ago I tried it again for the first time, and I was like, ah, it's all right. Yeah, I mean, I like it because. You know, my dad and I, we started making our own pieces at home, and I always had to get that pineapple, that cheese, and that sausage. Oh, man. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, what part of ki- what, what part of a kid's movie completely scared you? So, like, what movie as a kid scared you? Um, so, I remember watching the movie, uh, um, what was it called? The Never Ending Story. Mm-hmm. Um and that that was it's an amazing movie um but you know some parts no not even that it was not that movie uh, the dark crystal it was mm-hmm. a, it was kind of like a um and it wasn't animated it was real life in a way it was puppets but every time they showed the dark crystal and the minions like the the bad guys or whatever around it, it i don't know it just freaked me out when i was growing up and if it wasn't that movie i don't know if this movie is disney related but it was the haunted the um, little shop at horror, mm-hmm. you know, where the the plant went from small and it was like feed me, and then after that it grew up bigger because the dude had to feed him bodies. So that was one of the scariest movies I used yeah. to watch. The scariest movie I think I ever saw as a kid was uh this movie called Little um uh, Little Nemo or whatever, and uh or um that and uh the great mouse detective you ever seen that oh yeah i love the great, the great mouse, mouse that uh that rat used yeah, that to scare rat, the hey, crap out of me, boy. Scared me oh my that's god some, hey, I'm telling i still you, have nightmares about him y'all if you if you if you are young and you have not seen that go on netflix yeah i'm telling you those are the classic cartoons then all right i think that's a wrap for today thank you for joining us on the podcast views from the seven pod uh more to come and we out man